Hi, uh, today I am going to show you how to change background of image using Photoshop CS4. Okay, let's like I want to be it, uh, to fully practical and fully productive. Something you can learn end of the tutorial, you will be able to change the background of an image uh, with something new. So it's more interesting and also I'll think I'll make sure it is be like very simple for you. I'll try to explain each buttons what I'm using on each menu items, whatever. Okay, so let's see what's my actual my this one is. You see, I have this image. I want to take out this uh, human object and I want to remove this background and I want to move this person into this hair protector. This is the actual my destination image. So my ta task is simple. I want to move this person from here to this uh, airport so that he will be like end of the day we want to see him as standing uh, uh, in front of the airport. Okay. So let's open like you know I just now summarize the thing actually. So we need two images for this. One is source image and one destination image. Uh, source image preferably you take some image with an human object and destination image you just take some background some scenario beach or airport or garden whatever you feel comfortable. Okay. Okay. Now let's open let's, uh, let's let me open the software Adobe Photoshop CS4. Now while this opening like uh, yeah, it's open. Yeah. Okay. Now our first task is we need to create a new file with size six inches in width and four inches by height, and also 300 dpi resolution. Okay. Let me open here. I'll go to file new. Okay. Then I'll take this one inches, and is mentioned like six inches width, and also width height is four inches. The resolution you type 300. Okay. This background content you can keep it in a transparent means there, there won't be any background color in this one. Okay, so let's open. Okay, so this is our work area now actually. So the first task is finished in this one. So we created a new image with six inches width and four inches height and 300 dpi resolution with uh, with transparent background. Transparent background. Okay. So now our task is to open the source and destination image. Okay, I'll go here. File, open. My so, uh, source uh, object image is this one, so this is the source image. I'll open this one, okay. Then again, the step three is open destination image. So I'll go here, I'll open the destination image, it's here actually. So, so now I have one work area, then on my uh, actual object and my background. So, three things, okay. Now, my next step is drag both images to the workplace, means I want to drag the source and destination image to the workplace so this is my workplace i want to drag this one okay i'll take the move tool from here okay i'll drag this one here okay and i'll close this one i don't need any more this one okay so the first question secondly i want to take this image this is my destination image i'll take this one and i'll drag this one also to the workplace okay so my this is finished okay so this is the image actually and if you go here like there's some option called windows layers if you select that you'll be able to see this window actually so actually here i'll name it like this is my object image okay and also this is my destination image okay okay so now now for example first question now like you see these are like three images you see if i hide this one you see it will see this one and on top of there is this one actually and also if you want you can move you see now you want this one to be background so you can move it up or down you see see now this is in the down and this is up actually so this high icon means you can uh, hide or visible like this hide or visible like okay okay so now our actually so we finish the task number four now you hide the destination layer means I will hide this layer is not required now this moment okay then we need to extract six is extract the required object from the source image by cutting tool okay so now this is the source image we don't want the whole thing actually we want just the take out the whole just the object so first thing we should do is you see this image is cutting is not proper actually so what we should do is we go here edit there's an option free transform you take this one free transfer okay then you take this 
you use the control minus C control minus key so that it will reduce the screen now you hold alt and shift tab and make it reduce so that it will be proportional okay now we just our in intention is to look at the object image okay so i'll tell you first i have taken the free transform tool then after that i reduce the zoom in of the this one okay, screen using control minus then after that i used alt and shift key and drag using the corner of the image so that it is proportionally reduced to fit in the screen okay now i'll make it like you know i'll just make it zoom this one okay now my task is i want to uh, extract this object image using so like is mentioned extract the object image by cutting tool okay now i'm just taking you see if you go here there is a pen tool this is called pen tool okay if you type p also it will come okay so and make sure you use like this only everything okay now you should use this zoom tool zoom the maximum you can and also you can use the space bar to move the image okay so this image the quality is not good but only my intention is to give an exact idea how it works actually so i zoomed into the best okay now you take this pen tool and start cutting from here okay so you just you always make sure you are cutting little inside the object like you know it should not go out of the image you don't cut from here you should cut always from the inner side of the image okay and also when you cut like this okay before you release the mouse don't release the mouse unless you make sure the uh, the object selection tool is properly aligned okay so now don't click like this just drag you see if you like make like this like this and then you hold them uh, release the mouse so that it will be much easier okay now i'm just cutting this image okay so and i'm using the space tool to move the work work uh, image area okay so i'm just cutting inside the object it's not from the outside little inside the object okay then just make sure it's very sharp and you will not go outside the image okay so just like this like this okay and if you want you can move this one using the control key so you just hold the control key and move okay and you just use the space bar to move the image okay this one Going like this, going like this. Make sure I mean, you are not releasing the mouse unless you align the cutting tool. Okay. See now here I have little problem. Too. So I just move using the control key and just move it. Like, okay. So you should practice a lot for this because this is, cutting is a very important task in Photoshop. If you know the cutting, then only you can. If you know the cutting proper right way, then only you can excel in this uh, Photoshop. Okay, so I'll just you. I'm using just the key, uh, space bar key to move this one, and you just you see I'm just cutting from inside of the image, not at all from the outside. Very thin layer inside. And if you want more accuracy, then you can zoom to the best using the control and the plus key, so that you will have a very perfect. Uh, you should you will have a perfection in your cutting. Okay, so I'm just cutting the object now. always uh, you use uh, you keep one hand in your space bar so to move the object so that is when you move move you need to press the space bar and uh, move the object like uh, you see now i'm moving like this okay so my cutting is almost finished may look simple for you but you need a lots of practice to make the, with the perfection okay so we are almost reaching i know this image quality is not very clear but still if you understand the concept you can play with any good image and uh, it will be much much better actually so you can see when you zoom you can see the quality is very bad actually but still like my intention is only to make sure you will learn, you will understand the concept and you can play with it actually so i'm just making a little faster because i hope you will understand now finally i am reaching back to the point 
we just need to click this dot icon so that the path is complete if you don't path, complete the path then it will not work okay so now you see you have cut this like this okay now now the next part is uh, click right click on your mouse and click make selection and now here we have to give a feather i'll explain what is feather in some other time but for this to making it simple you just apply this for this image you apply a uh, feather of Two, two is enough for you. Okay, select two. Okay, now, now our task is to copy the image and paste it. Okay, now you will see that the image is like this. But unfortunately, uh, for some reason, the background cutting has not happened actually. So I'll cut again this one. You see, I'll cut from here. I don't know why it not happened, but usually it should happen actually. It's okay. So you select like this, make selection, you put the same resolution, delete. Okay. So that's over. Again, you do the same thing from here actually. So you just cut like this, like this. Okay. Again, make selection, enter, delete. Okay. This is also finished. So this we have the uh, object. So from this image, we have just extracted the uh, image. Actually. So another thing you should make sure, like uh, make a note. Actually, see, this is the first layer. Okay, this is the second layer. See, you can hide and hide. Now you don't want this one. You can just remove it. Like okay. So this is the volume. Okay. Now let's uh, we finish the stage. Step number six. Now. We our task is unhide the destination image and more proper sizing because the image destination image is hidden now. So I'll hide this. I don't want this one now. I'll go to this destination image. And the problem is this image is out of, of the screen. So what we should do is you take this tool and go to edit and there is some option free transfer. Okay, then use the control minus to make uh, reduce the screen size and you take the corner of this image hold alt and shift so that the uh, resizing is proportionate now drag the from the corner holding alt shift key and move it to fit in the screen actually so you can move it through the curve and if you don't use alt shift what will happen is the proportionate will go off and you will not be able to uh, the, the proportion will be distorted so okay so now this is my addition. so what i did is I re resize the destination image to match my screen actually. So this is the six point. Okay. So my this is my destination screen. And this is my object. Okay. So now my job is like you see now this guy is hanging in the sky actually. And also is the shoe off is not there. So what you can do is you just move this person so that you see either you will see him like this or so the portion wherever you want. Okay. So another question is like mm, now you want to feel that this is big or small you can use the free transform tool and you can reduce his size or you can make him big or whatever you want to do you can do okay so in this i am not doing anything here okay so now so now my next task is i want to change the color of this person so what i should do is i can go here at, at uh, image adjustments levels or curves you take this curves and also the shortcut key is control you know, take this one and you change the brightness of the this one so that it will match with the external screen okay so this is how it actually or you, uh, so now the background is clear right so we have a background the flight background and the fans are managing so imagine you want a copy of this person like you know you want to duplicate this person so what you can do is you can click duplicate so you see you have two persons like this now for example you want to you want to keep this person somewhere in another place you want so that you can really uh, you, you want to play something creative so what you can do is you take this person okay then you take the free transform tool like this okay? then you reduce it you make some imagination and you just make him stand here somewhere in the this one is, you can make like this also So you can make like this also. 
so this is another option or you want to make another copy of him duplicate and also you want to make him hit sorry he didn't it was not right okay anytime you make something silly and you don't want you want to revert back you can use the key control alt set okay now i let me take the copy of this one and i will duplicate this one okay i want to take this person the back and full zoom okay so make like this okay okay and i want to take this person you see like if you want to uh, minimize the brightness of the person you can use the key 0 to 1 to 9 actually so 0 means full brightness if i see put 9 in the keyboard it will become like this 8 like this 3 like this 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 like this if you want you can make like this also okay or you want to know the, you want to change the uh, his hand side you want to flip it like there's something called horizontal flip what you can do is go to edit free transform you right click and there's something called flip horizontal so you can make like this if you want or you want to flip vertical means you can make like this okay and uh, again i'll make him normal okay now my i what i want to do is see this is all the, this one actually so what i want to do is i want to give a feeling that this transparent image is back side of the flight so for that what i can do is let me take out take a cut from here i want to give an imagination that this person is behind the flight okay just take like this and i'll just cut the hole you make sure you are in the, this image okay then i'm selecting this one and i'll just give make selection Go this one and delete. So now you feel that that person is in the back side also. So you see, and if you want to full brightness, you can give nine or you want nine, eight, like the keyboard is just go on pressing six, five, four, three, two, like this. So it will give something like this. Okay, now for example, you want to put some uh, text on this. So you can go here in the text tool and you can click here. You can type like my first background change so you can take like this and if you want you can take the move tool and you can move this one okay and you want to change the color of this one you can go here you select this one and you can change color from this one color from this one, okay so this one and you want to change the value size of this one you can go to again this free transfer and also you can okay i want to explain if i if you don't use alt and shift what happens for example if i make like this this it will come like this it will lose the proportion so always whenever you want to change any object resize any object always use alt and shift key then you drag like this then it will be much proportion okay uh, I think now we are much clear like so we did the ma matching destination and fine-tuning also we done okay okay once everything is finished you can go to file menu and click save as uh, then you can give okay this is the, if you save it in the Photoshop format then you can you will be able to edit in the future actually I'll type first uh, first project something I give file name and save it as a Photoshop file so if you save it in Photoshop file, it will save with all the layers and everything. In the later stage, you will be able to uh, edit it. Okay. And for example, you want to send it to your friend like in a JPG format or anything, and go to go. You can go here, go to File, Save As, and you can select in the JPG format or whatever format you want. I'll select JPG. And you can put it as a first project, whatever file name you give, and press JPG Save. Okay. So and you, you always you make sure you give nine, not less than that, because if you give three or four the quality will be very bad so at least you should give nine okay and press okay so now your image is saved in the format as jpg so it is here actually so i'll actually see this is our original object this is our background and this is our final this one. so it's very clear i think so i hope you understand this tutorial is very simple you first anything for the photoshop you lots of practicing is required you should practice more on the pen tool and if you practice definitely you will excel in this one so you take two three images try background changing and everything and if you have any comments or feedbacks please write on my comment box definitely i'll get back to you
hope you will enjoy this tutorial and i'm i'm sure you will learn something from this tutorial have a great day bye bye